Hey there, this is the Capricorn horoscope for the uh, 27th, kind of through the second, kind of. I mean, I'm just going to look at some of the aspects going on during this time period. And this can be for anywhere, Capricorn, anywhere in your chart, especially your personal planets, big three those of your people so check out their charts as well and cusps also welcome for sure the end of a tough cycle approaches for capricorn here so on the 28th jupiter is moving into pisces and that's in your third house so for the next oh for the beginning of this year up until may or so your your growth that you're going to have in your life is you know in this learning you know learning and communicating and really expressing yourself in a new way okay expressing yourself in a way I think that is allowing yourself to like be complete and to change to transform this is like taking advantage of opportunities that can be life-changing for real and again being able to communicate what you know what you truly are passionate about it truly express yourself okay and i think you know again the more you're learning about the subject that you're so passionate about here that learning about you know you're able to talk about it more you're able to take action which i think is again this is good luck area for you this is this is what you need this is what you should be doing you know allowing that self-expression okay of who you are as a whole complete person Okay, so on the 29th, we have Mercury conjunct Venus in your first house. So we're looking at ideas of just who you are, who is the basis of who you are and what are you made of? What do you believe? What do you come across? What is your message? What is your outlook? How do you express yourself? And what are you manifesting? It's all about your original intentions as well. And a lot of people are going through a reset this week on those, not necessarily because it's a new moon, like we always do that on the new moon usually, but this is the end of the year. Okay. So we're really getting to these, you know, again, these recycles, these new ideas, these wanting to change ourselves, wanting to make ourselves better. And, and this is again, how can you focus on you? Okay. There's things that aren't working. We're tweaking those. We're learning. Okay. We're taking those opportunities to change things, maybe change things that we've done the same way our entire lives and have even been done before that. Okay. How you come across again, your attitude, your outlook in life in general, you're getting important ideas. You're having important conversations. You might be learning things, you know, spiritually and religious, you know, learning about the holistic law of attraction as well. Check out the playlist here on YouTube how this works and how you can again there's like your self-expression is 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 going to be changing and growing you know and and that's a positive uh positive element and energy in your life right now and it will be again kind of a lucky side of you to kind of learn 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 change 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 and express express your new self and what you're learning about okay so very cool so the 29th, we also have Mars sextile Saturn in your 12th house. So again, this can be kind of getting low, possibly, you know, again, wanting to kind of, you know, you know, there's sort of a, again, like this, there's this long-term kind of changes and, and, and shifts in things that we're doing. Okay. And it could be just like our fantasy and like dream for life and kind of our, our long-term plans, our long-term, you know, like it's our emotions, it's our dreams. It could be our, you know, it's habits, it's, but it has to do with, again, kind of healing and the spiritual side. Okay. Allowing yourself that time to love and to dream and to imagine and to uh, just meditate and have your subconscious come through and, you know, again, kind of have those, those, it's that subconscious healing that needs to be done doing the shadow work so that you can have healing and closure and relationships so that you can get better. And it could even be, you know, healing of the spiritual relationship with your higher power right now, little tweaks, little changes to your habits in these regards, your habits in love. Okay. 
your habits in the way that you give love to yourself. Well, again, little tweaks, little changes, very good. Release this week. Release what doesn't work with this last quarter moon. A little adjustments. We are not stopping. We are not slowing down. We are following through. But if we have to change as we go, that is the, the idea. And on the 30th, we have Mercury conjunct Pluto in the first house. Really interesting ideas. Again, and learning, you know, learning maybe from conversations with other people, but it did again, definitely like aha moments regarding yourself. Okay. Possibly how you look, how you express yourself, like what you have, like what kind of bag you carry, what, you know, accessories in your life, like just how you're coming across when people first look at you. Okay. But also what you're saying, what your message is, what your ideas are, your outlook, your attitude, your aura. Okay. Again, could be having some revelations, some changes to possible like things that you would you do every day, like different, ha like perfecting a little habit, doing a little habit differently. It's like almost like putting on makeup a little bit differently to make yourself feel fresh or doing something different with your hair or, you know, the face is coming through, um, looking, you know, a little bit more of how you want to look can really change and help your confidence here, I think in a big way as well. So Again, getting some ideas this week as a theme here into how, you know, you are kind of having maybe new ideas regarding your, and, and also learning regarding your, you know, your exterior physical self. So it's almost like learning new spa tricks and habits as well, learning new ways to care for yourself and your health as well, not just like your looks, because it's all connected. Okay. And it's kind of important time to, again, kind of give that you know, take, take this knowledge and like, it's do it. Like, don't just learn about the spa day, but then go ahead and change your habits and start to do this in a new way from now on. Okay. Regarding your looks, regarding your, your, you know, the way you shine, the way you go through and, um, you know, express yourself every day and your outlook and your attitude about life, your approach. Okay. Cause we get this old, you know, old way of doing things. And like, we're going through, we're learning so much, we're growing. Okay. We're changing who we are. It's all about you and your identity because again, it's like deep changes that you've made and that you've been changing again, kind of learning this subconscious healing stuff is also still changing you and who you are. And that's why you're changing the outside of you as well. And you want to also kind of disassociate from the person that you were and almost like a mark a milestone now from the future, some, something else, somebody else, a new phase, a new cycle that's going to be easier. So self-love coming through strong, can't ever get enough self-love. Okay. We don't want to, you know, overdo things and, and burn out. You know, sometimes it's about these little, little changes, revelations that can happen can really have big changes in the future. Long-term, even if maybe you didn't even think they were going to. So it's kind of like, there's some good luck energy here. Okay. And supportive, like the universe supports you. That's always a good mantra. So take some time out from your usual life. Maybe spend it in some solitude so that you can kind of get in shadow work, check out the playlist. Okay. And again, holistic law of attraction, also playlist really good at this time. Shadow work and the holistic law of attraction actually work together. So definitely a good thing to kind of use at the same time. Okay. Co coincidentally. So much love, many blessings. Take care. Thanks for like, share, subscribe, comments. Love to connect. Talk to you soon. Bye.